A few days ago, I started getting anonymous phone calls, and first, I thought nothing of it. It was obviously the work of a crank. But the calls persisted, and when I picked up the receiver, a voice heavily disguised would make threats such as kidnapping my wife or getting at the budgerigar by means of drug cuttlefish. <laughs> and, of course, I couldn't let that continue. I mean, I'm extremely fond of the budgie. So, <laughs> I thought I'd better get some protection, and as luck would have it, I saw an advert in my local paper. It read... Bona Private Detective Agency, Personal Protection Guarantee. So, the next morning, I paid them a visit. Hello, anybody there? Oh, hello, I'm Julian, and this is my friend Sam. Oh, hello, Mr. Oz. Oh, how sad you Oh, darling. Oh, really, darling. Oh, how nice. What brings you trolling in here, then? Well, are you private detectives? Mm. A private and confidential. Mm. Uh, we specialise in delicate inquiries. Mm. Delicato. Put yourself into our hands unreservedly. Are you uh, qualified? Mm. Oh, yes. I'm ex Sid. Sid, uh, Criminal Investigation Department. No, Sid Goat's Breath. <laughs> that, uh, that was my name, but I had it changed. Now I'm Julian Lestrange. Mm. After that inspector in the Sherlock Holmes, he, he's modelled himself on him, modelled haven't you? On that Sherlock Holmes. Yes. He loves Holmes, yes. don't you, Julian? Oh, I love Holmes. <laughs> I love Holmes. <laughs> I'll read all his tales. He loves Holmes' tales. Love him. <laughs> love read, them. Them. read them all. Mm, he does. Yellow Eek, Crooked Omi, mm. The Red Riley. He sees himself oh. as a Sherlock of the over 60s. Yes. He does. Sort That's of it. old people's home. Oh, he <laughs> bowed. <laughs> And uh, what role do you play in the organisation? Well, I'm his man Friday when he's in town. I uh, see. Or his... Uh, <laughs> or his what's on in London. Oh! You want protection, don't you? Well, how do you know that? After that last joke, you need protection. <laughs> well, yes, it's true. I'm being threatened. We can give all the protection you need. Oh. Fire, theft, flood, you name it. Flood? Yeah, we've got a small insurance business on the side. But to return to our moutons... That is actual French moutons. We give yes. three grades of protection. There's the comprehensive at 80 guineas a week. That includes armed guards at your side, night and day, a professional food taster and a ravenous Alsatian stationed outside your door. Or there's your partial cover. Partial. Plain clothes man outside your window. Partial. Telephone interception service and a wire-haired terrier on the landing. <laughs> that's uh, 50 guinea a week. Well, that's more than I planned on spending. Oh, there's your four guinea ordinary. Yeah. Well, how does that protect me from attack? Jules restrains itself. <laughs> <laughs> Look, are you are you sure you're qualified? Yeah. Oh yes, of course. We've got a certificates from the Home Office. I've got a double O number. Have you? <laughs> License to kill, like James Bond, 007. No, 0071. Yeah. That's the phone number of the Marine Commando Club in Paddington. Mm. They'll take a message. In. They are very obliging. Oh, very. The law, you know, the law is in our blood. Uh, we met through the law, didn't we, Jewel? Ah, <laughs> uh, God. <laughs> tell him, tell him, tell him, Just... tell him. <laughs> Go on, tell him. <laughs> Bow Street. It was. Yes. Tell we... him what we've been doing. Yes. Tell we'd... him. We. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> We'd been demonstrating in Trafalgar Square. Yes, we had been. No, we had been. But we've been protesting, haven't we? Protesting, protesting we yes. was. We, you don't tell no lies. No, I don't. No. I told Who the was truth. it who'd been addressing us? Now that, um, um, in with the collar, the vicar. Um, what was it? Josie Collins. Josie. <laughs> Josie Cannon Collins. Cannon Collins, of course. We'd all march for Alder Mayston, hadn't yes, we? Yes, um, I joined the march at A Market because of my feet. Terrible feet. <laughs> oh, that's terrible feet. He's a martyr to his feet. Martyr. Yes, it's all them years dancing on point. point yeah. Oh, he's got toes like a bunch of nutty bananas, yeah. <laughs> haven't you, Jules? No need to tell him. Go it, on, tell him why. Tell it's him why. For my art. For his art. He suffered for his art. He strained himself in the middle of Stravinsky. Minsky's sacred du printemps. Yes. And he had to give up the ballet. Yes. He was like thistle down. He was like thistle down. <laughs> Here. Tell him what Dame Alice said to you. Tell him what Dame Alice said to you. What do you mean about keeping out the girls' dressing rooms? No! <laughs> not about how light you was. Oh, light. yes, yes. Light. She said I was light on my feet. Yes. Like a fairy he was. <laughs> To what? Yes. All to be old. All to be old in. Yes. His lallies was his fortune. 
Until come that fatal matinee. Oh, no, don't. They say even now, they say you could hear the click all over the theatre. I can't bear <laughs> And from that day to this, he's not danced. He's not danced a step. Not one entre chat. No, yeah. <laughs> well, it's all liniment under the bridge now. No, no. but it's left his feet in no state for protest. No Marty. state at all. So I joined him up the A market. Yes. So anyway, to cut a long story short, there we was in Trafalgar Square singing, We Shall Not Be Moved, when all of a sudden we was. <laughs> And before we knew it, in the Black Mariah we was, and off to Bow Street. Yes, but we were so impressed by the bona demeanour of the police, we bona. decided to take the law into our own hands and become private eyes. So here we are, ready to give about all to help fight the crime wave. Why? What is your actual problem? Well, all it is really is that I've been getting these anonymous phone calls. Oh, oh the anonymous, the anonymous phone calls. phone calls, of yes. Course. Well, I'm sure we can help you mm. there. If you pay us a retainer of £10 a week, we guarantee these phone calls they will stop. They will stop. Well, how day. can you be so sure? Easy, Ducky. We'll stop making them. <laughs>